15 minute, 10 second game. Okay, let's just support the pawn. Because obviously if the bishop takes, then the knight gets the pawn for free. And just develop, ready for castling. Well, let's just attack the bishop, see what he wants to do. Just take, save any confusion, leaving the pieces there stuck. So basically it's a bad bishop now, he's just locked himself in. So he's going to want to create a better situation for himself. And they're just a massive take fest now. So I'm not liking my bishop really either because our pawns are on white square so we're not really getting into the game but obviously simplifying but again it does give up space for their bishop if the pawn takes so well, okay let's grab anyway so they're looking to improve so we're going to up a minor piece from that exchange Um, we can take and um, go for a queen exchange, just simplifying. Does it really improve the position? Bishop needs to get out because it's behind our white squared pawns. Let's attack this rook while we're doing that. Uh, let's see. Knights coming and attacking this pawn. Doing something. Trying to make utilize the advantage we've got which is the extra minor piece so I'm going to grab this pawn with a check on the queen I don't think it can be taken as there's no pawn behind wow I was just about to instantly go here but they've got a pawn there haven't they Ooh, that knight doesn't have any protection on queen could squeeze here and it's attacking this pawn as well as attacking the knight Oh, I can't now. Okay. So knight's on it. So if we get a two on one, maybe the rook comes here, but the pawn just drops down to attack it, which is a bit annoying. But then if it does, we can come here and attack the pawn and go for an exchange that way. Okay, let's do it that way. protecting the pawn okay um we need to get into they just want this um static thing now not taking anything queen can come here to put a check on the king to get into some activity with the knight and rook can look to try and own the file i'm going to bring the queen up it looks a little bit more activated this knight doesn't have any protection as we mentioned before so we could slide it here, but the queen can come and protect, so that might be a waste. Oh, okay, so the knight has gone back. I'm going to continue with the check on the king, just to... It's probably gone there, maybe to block here, but I don't really know. So, no, he hasn't. He's come to attack the um, rook, hasn't he, from there. 
So I've got queen can squeeze here. It's getting closer towards their king, but there's no meat on the bones. Whoa, sorry. It's meant to be an arrow. Could bring the knight up. Hold on a minute. If we go here with the queen, with a check, king has to move. Probably doesn't want to go on the back again, but it can. So, okay, so it can come here. Then our knight can go here. The knight's managing this square and this square. So the queen could then go here with a checkmate, couldn't it? So I'm going to give that a try. Unless, of course, the queen takes the knight off the board. But if they go here, we didn't cover that, did we? They go there, knight goes here. Still managing this square, so then that would be a checkmate, but then this rook can get involved, can't it? Ooh, oh yeah, but then if they do get involved, queen can come here, can't it, with a checkmate there, I think. I think there's a mating pattern of sorts, unless of course they do something quirky to upset the apple car, but they can't because they're in check at the moment. So they do go down, so bringing the knight here like we said. So now we can go here with the checkmate because he can't go anywhere, can he? Yes, excellent. 